you are. We want to do everything we can to make it easy for somebody. Well, thanks for having us today. Governor Larry Hogan highlighted a small yet crucial component of Maryland's vaccine campaign Wednesday when he toured the in-house COVID vaccine clinic at Seacare in Linthicum. I'm excited to see it. Thank you. 125 employees got their first dose of Moderna while at work and on the clock. If you make it easy to say yes to a shot in the arm, more people will get them, the governor told reporters later at the state house as he announced a new outreach effort called No Arm Left Behind. We truly are uh, close to that light at the end of the tunnel. But those of you who have not yet been vaccinated, please go get a vaccine as quickly as you can. The new initiative includes outreach to senior citizens, college campuses, major employers like Southwest and Amazon, and essential manufacturing facilities like Seacare in Linthicum. Historically black colleges and universities are more than just hallowed ground for learning. They are also part of the community. You know, I want to keep pushing until we get there, you know. Every person that wants one is going to get one. The governor also announced walk-up lines begin tomorrow at three of Maryland's mass vac sites, Navy Stadium, the Baltimore City Convention Center, and the FEMA-run clinic in Greenbelt. What's happening is I think in some cases we have up to maybe 20% drop-off on when people schedule an appointment. That wasn't happening before. Also, more mass vac sites are about to launch. Tomorrow, Ripken Stadium will start giving out shots. It's the first mass vac site in Hartford County. It's the 12th in the state. And number 13 opens next week at the Mall in Columbia in Howard County. Reporting live from Minneapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.